my name is Jacek Purski. I'm from Poland. I live in Warsaw. I'm a chairman of the um, uh, foundation, which is called the Institute of Social Safety, which is um, a Polish-based uh, NGO. I'm chairing it and I established it three years ago, but I'm working on the field of um, countering extremism and, and radicalization for last 18 years. I can say it is a, a lifetime commitment, but also a passion. How do you tackle radicalization in your work and what are the biggest challenges you face? The biggest challenges is that uh, in the country like Poland, we have to introduce the topic of radicalization to the um, wide public debate. And it's uh, similarly with the issues linked with polarization. So we introduce it and we try to work on it to highlight all the aspects of uh, the radicalization. So, um, but being more concrete, what we do is, first of all, we train. We train teachers, uh, we train police, but also local authorities. Uh, we train about the topic of radicalization, uh, but also about the hate crime, polarization and extremism. Uh, so these are the, the trainings that we offer. This is one part of our work. But also what we do, we establish one national and um, we try to open a local expert groups on radicalization, which is a typical multi-sectoral approach of different practitioners who we get together and uh, sit with them and work uh, on, on different aspects of the problem of uh, radicalization. You say the topic of polarization, radicalization, is quite new in Poland. How does the public usually react to these new topics in Poland? I would say that the topic appeared, of course, for years, but it was never uh, debatable. It was never uh, treated as an important field of social activism, research, and other forms of actions. So I would say that um, we are now in the situation where the medias are our main partner in distributing the basic knowledge but also going more into deep in with uh, some aspects like counteracting violent extremism, recognizing early prevention. But what we also did recently is engaging former members of extremist groups in the educational work with youngsters. This is our recent uh, achievements and we found it as, a, as an important field of our uh, activity. What is also important, we link the issues of radicalization with hard safety security. In our foundation, there are former soldiers who teach typical anti-terrorist knowledge. We go to, with such lectures to schools and we uh, distribute those workshops among the teachers, teachers only. And the lecture about radicalization and polarization and counteracting violent extremism is uh, next to the topic of heart safety and security in the school. That makes teachers more open for the debate about those difficult topics. What's been most rewarding about your work in tackling radicalization? I'm very proud of being an Ashoka Fellow, which is the Global Social Innovators Association. And uh, I get to the Ashoka because of the approach that we have for radicalization in Poland. And it was my personal achievement. But when it comes to everyday work, the achievements are totally elsewhere. The achievements are on the faces, you can see on the faces of the teachers who you speak with, and they open their eyes and say, yes, I knew, I feel it but now you named it and they, you gave me the response what to do. The biggest achievements are in the voice of the police that is calling and saying, we use the knowledge that you teach us. The biggest achievements is in the local authorities who say, we had a problem with extremism and now we have a system type of solutions that you provided to us to solve it. This is the biggest achievements and the biggest joy for everyday work. Could you tell us more about these system type solutions that you mentioned? The system type of solutions is actually linking with the multi-sectoral approach and creating the groups on the local levels. So we gather together police, teachers, prosecutors, psychologists and experts on radicalization, plus media, and we try to find solutions for every single issue that is put in front of us. So we try to like create a model, a, a working group that would refer to the to any type of, of radicalization. We, we try to um, explain to local authorities that such 
uh, working groups should be um, present in every single uh, local governmental office. So, uh, so this is one part. But there are also we have like uh, initiatives that are targeting the uh, solutions also in police and in schools. So we want to make them the frontline responses for the radicalizations. The issue is in recognizing an early prevention of radicalization, which means that very often we give the basic knowledge, but it's already enough for police teachers or the local authorities to do the first steps to do the first reaction for the violent uh, extremism. It's sometimes already enough to start the procedure of the proper response. How has RAN helped you? Is there anything more you would like or expect from RAN? I'm a very proud member of RAN from almost very beginning. And at the very beginning, RAN opened my mind for the number of, uh, of, of topics linked with radicalization. So first of all, for RAN for me was an inspiration. Then secondly, I would say it's networking. It's, it's great to meet all those people and exchange the materials, exchange the experience. This is uh, crucial. But... There's also an important part of RAN which must be mentioned. This is a personal friend type of relations, I would say. I believe that now RAN is, a, for me, is a group of, of friends who inspire, who teach, but also who mobilize for regular work. So for me, RAN is an important place to be, an important place to, for exchange. What are your expectations? My expectations are closer cooperation with different, more experienced members of RAN and developing also uh, my knowledge and my approach. By mine, I mean also my organization and my uh, people who I work with. And um, so, yeah, the development is the biggest expectation. This was Jacek Purski, chairman of the Institute of Social Safety in Poland. Jacek took part in the RAN Local Working Group's meeting on far-right extremism on the local level. Please visit the website of the Radicalization Awareness Network to find more information about its activities. And stay tuned for our next monthly interview podcast.